taking a break from art to, um, you know, go over something that might be really important to some of you guys. Um, today we are going over exploring the idea of having a standalone tablet as a point of sale system. Freedom Pop recently had a sale um, for a refurbished LG tablet, that's this here, um, for like $49 and it comes with a monthly uh, wireless slash cell plan. And I don't think I'm gonna be using the cell features on this device since um, it's pretty big, but I definitely wanted it for a point of sale system. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what a point of sale system is, it's the computerized system that's, that many restaurants use to put your orders in. As a commission artist at conventions, I wanted a point of sale system um, so that I could more easily take orders. Uh, I do use my um, iPhone 4S with squares, square up um, reader, uh, but I'm really kind of dissatisfied with both square and with my phone as a standalone device. If I have an assistant, it means we're basically tied to one, to sharing my phone, which makes it difficult for me to fill commissions or go around and take photos or just basically use my phone as a phone. So I wanted a standalone device and I didn't want to pay a whole lot of money for it. Now I do have a an older Nook, a Nook color, um, but it you can't run the Square software on it. So when the Freedom Pop deal came, I thought I would give it a shot. So my, my LG tablet came in this blue box with some information, a cable, and what looks like a charger. Yep. Let's see. I have a 90 day warranty since it is pre-owned. It's gonna give me cancer probably. And um, my quick start power information. <clears throat> now I haven't turned this device on yet. Um, this isn't really an unboxing so much as like the first in a series where we explore using a standalone tablet, setting up a standalone tablet, setting up a cheaper tablet with your square or other card reading device for use at conventions. And this, like I said, can be used as a phone. It has a camera on the back so I could take commission photos and maybe link it to the orders, which would be really nice. There is an SD slot, no, that's a SIM card. So if I didn't have an iPhone, I could put in another SIM card and use this as my, my phone. Like I said, I really do not intend on doing that. And there is one in here. No, that's the micro SD, I think. Let's see. It's been a really, yeah. Oh, okay, let's see. That's a Sprint card. I think that is the SD card. It's been a really long time since I've had an SD card. And there is no, I mean, shoot. That is the SIM card. It's been a really long time since I've had an a SIM card rather than an SD card. And takes, uh, let's see, micro SD. So the quick start guide says I need to, first of all, I should probably remove. Ooh, very staticky. All right, hold the power button for three seconds, connect to Wi-Fi, and activate account. And I don't really know what Sprint has to do with Freedom Pop. All right, so this looks like an Android device, which means I am pretty sure it'll run with Square. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and you guys can see me, that's weird. So it looks like my, there we go. What? <laughs> I have not ever used an Android device. I've always had, um, Okay, I've always had uh, eye devices, iPhone, that kind of stuff for this. And um, if not iPhone, it's been um, Windows. So I'm gonna get this thing set up and then we'll go over downloading and installing Square. 
Okay, so I've got myself connected. So I'm gonna go to the Play Store. All right, so to sign in to the Play Store, I had to sign in to my Gmail. Um, and it... Oh shoot, I should not have hit the climb. I should have hit accept. I just don't wanna get spammed. Square is the current reader. So there's Square Register, POS, which is point of sale. Install. And it's taking a little while to, not too long, it's moving along, but it's taking a minute to download. And um, if you are using Freedom Pop, you definitely want to be signed in on your home Wi-Fi when you're doing this, because otherwise you're gonna be paying for that. So basically, anytime you can use, um, whoa. Okay. Um, basically, I don't recognize any of those people. I'm wondering if the SIM card didn't actually, um, if they actually cleared it. What was I saying? Oh, anytime you have access to um, wireless internet that you don't have to pay for in this kind of a situation, like at conventions, you're probably gonna wanna go with the wireless you can access rather than with Freedom Pop. Although this is really handy because you don't know how many conventions I've done where there is no wireless in the hotel, even though I'm a guest, so I need to use my data plan. And that's what the loading screen looks like for Square. And I need to sign in. So I'll check in with you guys in a minute. So it seems like register on newer phones and devices um, has added a lot of features. This is what register slash square look like on my iPhone 4S. Not a whole lot to work with. So I'm really excited to get to play with some new new items. Now, this is one of the newer square readers. Mine is actually kind of foobard. Um, we've tried it on a few different devices, always making sure it's charged. It's just goofing up on me a lot. So um, I'm gonna have to get a new one, but this is what it looks like. And it says mag strip disconnected, whatever. So like I said, I need to get a new one, but this is what my point of sale system is gonna look like in the future, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, it, my only real concern is handing this sucker over to customers for them to put in the information just because um, once I get it going, it's going to have a lot of people's information in it. So I may um, have to work something else out, but I'm definitely going to get a case for this so it can survive convention trips. Anyway, I'm going to trick this thing out, figure out the new uh, tips and tricks and get back with you guys. So right now, my items are completely clear. Um, I just deleted all the old ones because I want to do new prices. Now I could create new items using this, but I can also sign in on the site and access my library of photos so I can attach photos to the items to help people like, um, table assistants who might not be necessarily familiar with my work to help them help my customers. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll check in with you guys once this has been populated. All right guys, so I just spent the past 30 minutes populating my um, items. Uh, it's mostly commissions right now. I do need to go through my physical items and think about prices and get photos and I could get photos using this. Um, I have categories set up as well. Comics, commissions, and well, cute crap, which is everything that is in comics and commissions right now. I can also do modifiers, discounts, or even create gift cards. So, um, that's all I've got for you right now. Uh, I had to order a new mag strip reader since this thing is not working. Um, so I will check in with you guys when I've got more to share. 
Hey guys, it's been a few days and um, I did a little bit of work on my point of sale little tablet. First off, I have a micro SD card that has some goodies on it that I wanna put on, but let me show you some of the things I've uh, changed. So one, I got a case for it. And this is the sort of case that has a handle in it. So that'll make it a little sturdier for me to hold if I'm holding it for my customers to sign. It also has a slot for a micro or a SD card and two credit card slots, which I can put business cards in because I'm not putting my credit cards in this. It also has the sort of stand where you can set it up like that, like an easel. And it came with a free kind of a uh, kind of garbage little stylus, but it was free, so I don't really, I don't really care. So, um, some of the things I've done is I put some of my art on here so that I will have a portfolio sort of thing to show people quickly. And I have some more of that on this tiny little SD card, but we'll get to that in a minute. I also put a bunch of apps that would be useful for this sort of thing. So like you guys remember, I have the Square app and I had taken the time to go on my computer and add some items. I also updated the Square app. So now it is up to date, ready to go. Um, I organized my commissions and some of my more popular items in a grid formation that should make it easier for somebody who's helping me to find what they're looking for. Oh, shoot. I also have a discounts uh, section. I'm still working on populating that. Dang it. Um, and let's see. I also have my comics. So Kara, Magical Girl March, Favorite Fictional Femmes. I have an art ready to uh, go section. And that has two categories. It has the mini watercolors that I do as well as the larger pieces. So my square is almost set up. I do want to attach photos to some of these items just to continue to make it easy for people who are helping me to find what they're looking for. Um, let's see. I also installed some little art apps. Um, nothing, nothing too big a deal. I organized things into little folders. Um, and I put all the things I'm not gonna use often in their own folder as well. So let's remove my little tablet from its case and put the SD card in. Shoot. Oh yeah, and I also ins downloaded and installed OneDrive. So I have access to a lot of my, my blog stuff and my illustration stuff on the go, just in case. And this is helpful because this little tablet does have a SIM card. So, um, sorry, has a SIM card. So I can pull this up you know, even if I'm like at an airport or something, I can pull those things up if I want to. So over here is where you put the micro SD card. And this is not a permanent um, space upgrade. This is just so I can quickly transfer some files. Although having OneDrive makes it really easy to Weird. I can't get it in. I don't want to force it, but it's got this like weird little something on it. There we go. But I could expand space if I if I needed to. All right, SD card inserted. So we can go to the file manager, and it should show up. Yeah. Where are we? Transfer to Android tablet. Oh, some of those files got corrupted. I think these transferred okay. Yeah, these are comic pages. Oh. So I'm gonna delete the corrupted files. Fortunately, I have already downloaded those from my Google Drive, just sort of messing around. Actually, I want to download the folder. So select multiple, 
Seven. Seven Inch Kara, Chapter Five, and Commission Examples. Copy. Internal storage. Let's go to gallery. Okay. And now it's transferring. So I really wanted this little tablet to be like my con helper, my con buddy. So I want commission examples on it. I want uh, comic pieces on it. You know, I want to be ready and not have to fumble around with too much if I'm showing my stuff to someone who might be interested in something that's a little more expensive. Okay, so let's see if we can access it easily. All right, main page, there's a gallery. Whoa, okay. It's got, I'm gonna have to delete one of these because I have, oh, I see. It's got the, um, the SD card. So you can even have it pull from your SD card and it'll show up. That's pretty handy, but I, w I don't wanna be reliant on the SD card. So I have some commission examples up here. And as time goes by, I'll have more. And it looks like chapter five is like backwards. I wonder if I can switch the order and I have a corrupted file. That's a shame. You know what, that's okay. Because I'll just download those from OneDrive. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things I would changed. Um, maybe give you some inspiration for your own. So I'll see you guys when I am putting this into action at a con. Bye.